Hello everyone, this is Bobo the Vulture. It's time for more Let's Play Gran Turismo 2. Um, last time we... Well, last time was kind of a random little video. We were hopping around all over the place, just uh, checking out our prize cars a little bit. Seeing what cool stuff could be done with them. And it's been a little bit of uh, time since the last video that I recorded. Um, the video before the most recent one was actually the last one I recorded in the old year. As will sometimes happen with these games, especially Gran Turismo, I'll just sort of get into a mode where I'll play it a whole lot in one streak and one go. And then that'll be all there is to it, at least for a little while. Now then, the march. I won a little compact car cup with it, which was a lot of fun. Um, is there a March trophy to be won, though? Uh, let's go to East City and check that out. I forget. Hello, March trophy. Are you in here? Hold on a second. Uh, establish a stock watch. There we go. Yeah, so let's go to the special event here. There is a March trophy for regular and racing uh, marches. Marches only. No licenses required. March. March. There needs to be an E in there, folks, basically what I'm saying. John Philip Sousa, you know what he always used to say, marches only. Anyways, no licenses required, but... I feel like uh, having a little fun with our little car here. Hundred and eighty-seven horsepower, yes please! Yeah, it's twelve grand. It's cost us a good bit of money, but uh, we've got some money now. Okay, we can't do an intercooler with this thing, so... Well, that's okay. Two hundred and two horsepower? Sure. Our max horsepower's changed again! Our max horsepower keeps changing, folks. What's what's happening to it? It's an amazing thing. Ah, three horsepower. That's fine. Performance chip's not doing very much to this car, but... I mean, you can't NA tune something that you have turbocharged, or vice versa. It's just not a thing that they do. Oh, this is something, actually, that really... Yeah, this is something that annoys me, and I forget if it's something that was in the first game. Um, but... Yeah, oh, they fixed it this time. There's no replacement for displacement. Yes. I think in one of the games, it was there's no substitute for displacement. But the phrase is either there's no substitute for cubic inches, which is sort of an American-y version of it, because, uh... They used to, and I guess some still do, measure car uh, engine sizes in cubic inches of displacement rather than in liters, which is how they're generally done now. Um, oh, okay, no, six horsepower, for ten, ten grand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This sounds great. This is uh, oh, fourteen. Yeah, there you go. Basically, I just want to have the most powerful march possible. And, um... While I'm at it, let's go get sticky tires for it. You're like, Bobo, you're going mad with power. And I would have to agree with you. I am going kind of mad with power here. Although I'm still not apparently doing anything to the drivetrain brakes or suspension. Seems potentially unwise. What do the racing modifications of this car look like? A little... a little dumpty. 
that's okay. I think today I uh, was uh, responding to a lot of uh, messages that I got about this um, on the on videos in this series. Maybe it's just me, and maybe I'm just doing a better job of uh, ooh, test course. All right. Let's see what we can do on the test course. Seems like a really odd race to run. They randomized the courses, in case you couldn't tell. This could still be kind of difficult. Although at this point in time, I believe our... Our output here... Going to be based at least in part on gearing, but I think it's actually going to be pretty near... Our aerodynamic limit. Probably get a little bit more top speed out of this car. Yeah, because we're hitting the red li rev limiter, but... Alright, so... Either way, I think we still got this. So we will win the March Trophy. That'll be another race knocked out, right, folks? That's the important thing, knocking out these events. Not so I was trying to, uh... There we go, just feather the gas a little bit so that I don't, uh lose out. Get bumped all the way back down to 137. I and mean, I guess I am a comfortable margin up on everybody else, but I'm not actually gaining on any of the rest of these guys, which would lead me to believe that uh, all these marches are geared to top out somewhere around 145, 144. Yeah, see, here they come. They're catching up. My big advantage, in theory, is, uh... Well, was being able to stay ahead in the... Oh, I see. They must be using pack drafting. You clever sons of jerks. That's alright. I still beat you all. Suck it. All of you. Ha ha! Not going to save the game though, just going to continue. And you know what? Maybe I'll just go ahead and uh, race modify this march and uh, see what the next event is. See what else the future holds for this little march. I'll go uh, do the racing style here. That's pretty much what the game is about, folks. That's true, and I did all that in my car without any weight reduction, so this will be the ultimate weight reduction, because you have to do weight reduction stage 3 ahead of time. I couldn't remember whether or not you had to do that. 
I'm gonna guess, yeah. You have to do these all step by step. Well, geez, I guess I really should have uh, done all this weight reduction already, huh? Considering I was gonna have to do it eventually, anyhow. And look at how much... And I'm not even getting into anything like, um... Racing transmission parts or racing suspension, which I probably should. Um, I'm just like, how fast can I make the engine go? And I've already burned through a ton of money making this car super cool. That's something I believe I, I have been, you know, leaving some comments and talking to people about. And as I was starting to say earlier and sort of got sidetracked with the racing and other stuff, um, that's one of the things that I've actually enjoyed in this series is uh, get good comments on it. And um, I don't know whether or not they're better or worse comments, but they always end up feeling like comments that I have more to be able to, like, respond to. I'll read all of my comments whenever I can, but sometimes, you know, they're just a comment that's just sort of there. There's nothing you necessarily have to say to it. It's not a bad comment. It's not a, you know, whatever. It's just that it, it's there, and you're like, yeah, no, I suppose the thing that you've just observed is true. All right, here's a collection of super racing marches. All right, these uh, other marches have been uh, pretty highly tuned up as well, so it would seem. Probably didn't even need to really hit the brakes there, huh? I'm not going to be able to lose these guys too quickly, am I? guys are hella tough. But, uh, yeah, one of the big joys that I have in this game, and really in all Gran Turismo games, but, uh, I find it's especially nice in this one because the large selection of cars includes a lot of cheapo cars from the 80s, that are kind of funky and weird looking. It's a lot of, like old funky Japanese uh, micro and city cars and stuff. Um, and one of my great joys in the Gran Turismo games is taking cars that don't look like they should have any right to be fast and absolutely trouncing like real honest bonafide sports cars. Phew, glad I uh, accidentally tapped the wall there. That would have been bad. But this little dude is king of the marches. Look at him go! You did it, little march king! You are the man now, dog! But like things like this little... It's a little goofy looking car. It's just sort of 
boxy, funky. It's a funky, chunky thing. And uh, we just used it to uh, completely own the faces of all the people in this uh, race. Which we actually did at a net substantial loss. I'm um, not going to save the game. So, yeah. We got that to think about, though, folks. Bear it in our minds. So, okay, random cord race. So, okay, so we've completed the March trophy. And we've lost a ton of money. There is a fix for this, though. And that fix is... The speed 12. Actually, you could do it with anything. I gotta try it with the speed 12. And it's not you could do it with anything. You could do it with... I mean, we've already done it with the Denso Sard Supra. That's how we got the speed 12. Basically, I'm talking about winning the race that you get the speed 12 for. And, uh... Selling the speed 12. was Red Rock Valley. You earn 50 grand for the race by itself, and then you earn half a million dollars off of getting a speed 12. Let's see if we can do it. <clears throat> As you'll recall, the speed 12 is a uh, fairly unwieldy car. Um, I believe I shared with all of you the uh, little factoid that I read someplace quite possibly Wikipedia, that um, Peter Wheeler, the man who actually uh, actually ran TVR at the time and had some racing experience, um, drove a late production prototype of the Speed 12 and found it unusable. Something like this, maybe. That it made simply too much power for the, uh, the car. The engine made too much power for the car. It was too, it was too powerful to be used on the road. Also, I'm discovering it has a bad habit of just oversteering. noting it has a bad habit of not pointing in one direction. You know, this is quite a change from the uh, Nissan March, I'll give it that. Alright, I'm going to leave that one alone for a while. I'm just going to go... I'm not going to sell it, because of course it's a valuable car, and it has an important place in our lives and our history. But I'm going to go ahead and get... Uh, Or old Den well, maybe I'll take the drag GTR out. That might be fun. Let's get in the drag GTR. And try that race. I just, like, I know that I can win it again with Denso Sard Super, because that's obviously how we did it the first time. I just want to try a different car. We have a number of cars that we could do this with. I just want to be different, folks. This may uh, may not work very well either because of all of these sort of long gradual turns and the drag GTR really not being set up to turn. We'll see, though. It may be that it can turn just enough to get through. Because you will notice that Red Rock Valley is 
a fairly high speed circuit. It's got lots of long, sort of gentle slopes. Yeah, it really isn't capable of being turned. Like, I'm not even, like, driving the car, you may have noticed, and it still wasn't even turning in directions. Alright. So, it's suitable for taking out to the test course only, more or less. Um, I only learned fairly recently that there was originally supposed to be a drag racing mode that goes with this game, and um, it got programmed out fairly late in the uh, late in the offing. And I believe that, uh, from what I've heard, um, I mean, having heard that, that would explain why the drag GTR is there, because it really is unusable for pretty much anything else in this game. Um, so, it's got that. Um, that, and I've also read, um, I, you know, didn't do, ever do any exhaustive testing in it, but um, that it's impossible to achieve in your uh, garage, where it lists your stats and accomplishments or what have you, there's a completion percentage, and it is impossible to reach 100. Um, I've heard people say that it tops out somewhere around 100, around 97.2 percent, or something like that. Either way, whatever it is, it's, it's, a, it's a few percentages short of 100. Okay, so the problem is actually just that I'm really out of practice. That's kind of a shame. It's actually really a shame. After I had all that great success with the uh, march. Well, I'll go ahead and keep going, because I feel like I can get uh, my groove back a little. Certainly, at the very least, catch up to this Lister. Yes, Mr. Lister, sir. Okay, that's a little bit more like it. Probably still not going to win, but... I suppose I'm in with uh, more of a shout now than I initially thought possible. Um, so sure. 
So I know, I'm driving with this pre-made race car, and, uh... I'm racing against all these crazy... All these other crazy top-tier-ish sort of sports cars. When I'm just getting done saying that uh, my favorite thing to do is take uh, super cheapo lame cars and uh, push them to the limit. Which is my favorite thing to do. But this is the way to earn money. Now then, can I, uh, tailgate this guy and maybe gain a little draft? Does drafting work in this game? I don't know if it was the drafting that did it or if it was the just suicidal, uh, offensive breaking techniques I was using. Either way... It's my race now, y'all are just driving in it. You suckers! So hey, managed to uh, make up the deficit of uh, an early spin. Heck, I might have been able to have won this in the incredibly unstable speed 12. That's probably a way better idea though. You guys just hang back there, buddies. I will continue on up here where... I will run the race of the righteous. The righteous ones who want to have a million dollars. The righteous ones, the ultimate heroes, like Dan Zivar. Who here remembers Dan Zivar, the ultimate hero? It's another great PS1 title, Evil Zone. Oh, let's not lose the race now, everybody. I would much prefer to not lose the race now. I'm all out of rhythm now, so it's entirely possible that may happen. You dare out accelerate me and come back. Thank you, by the way, for not out accelerating and getting me back. So there we go. That was uh, a bunch of that. So let's go ahead and exit real quick. We will acknowledge these results and this 50 grand and a new car we're not gonna save though because we're gonna continue and if you want to uh, go ahead and uh, skip the rest of this video I'm just gonna do this exact same race again because it's worth it it's worth having the extra money lying around um, we made a little bit of a uh, sort of stumble early in the game because I was a sucker for the uh, Starlet, which I'm still going to go back and tune up. I'll probably use the prize money that I'm getting out of these to go uh, suss up the Starlet and then take it out to uh, wherever I can race it and uh, knock down some suckers and other fools. Alright, this is a whole pack of no-joke racers. There's a Toyota GT1 up there. Let me 
guys are all irritating me greatly. Alright, GG1, fine. You win this round. that round too. But don't think that you're going to win all the rounds. That's right, I got on a full acceleration faster than you, G Toyota GT1. Yes, you do have a faster car than me. You gonna try a cowbunga dive bomb pass on me? I'd like to see you make it stick, buddy boy. Ooh, what's this fine beast we have up here? Oh, it's the classic. I want one of those. And I shall have one, don't you worry. For GT40. That will be the racing version. There's some, like, bug or confusion in this game about how the... Yeah, that's right. I made a ton of time through that section. Le Mans Prototype GT1, what are you going to do about it? As Freddy might say something like, make it up and... Uh the other numerous uh, high-speed corner sections. Oh no, that's not good. It'll be far worse in real life if I'd actually just smacked into a tire barrier, but... Uh, There you go, and now you'll see the GT1 will just fly away. Oh, maybe not. It really should. Has better aerodynamics. Has a better engine. Yeah, this is the section of the track where the GT1 can really do a number on me. They can catch up in a hurry right there. That wasn't the best corner exit, but seemed to get through that last S bend a lot better than any of the computer drivers, which I'll take, you know.
what that poor car in last place is. Not enough to try and concentrate real hard on it, though. This is still a, an easily losable race. Still an easily losable race. I'm guessing the car in the back there is a Lister Storm, but I don't really know. Lister Storm, for some reason, they seem to include in a lot of these the race for the best car ever. And for whatever reason, whether it's gearing or what, it's just not up there with uh, these other machines. Anyways, let's exit. Fifty grand. New car. Not saving. Gonna continue. And basically, so there you have it, folks. That overall, that particular one event took, what, like, at most eight minutes? It's a few minutes, I'll grant you. But, um, we got 50 grand per race. And then we also got new speed 12s. Two speed cell for a half a million credits piece. Don't worry, there's another one here. 764,000? That doesn't seem like enough money. We now have 1,264,093 credits. We're in the credits, folks. So when we come back, it's basically going to be up to me whether or not I want to buy a super cool rally car, or um, some kind of special custom race car, or soup up like everything that I've got in the garage, or, you know, not spend any of the money for some reason. Either way, though, things are going to look better. This is Bobo the Vulture. This is Let's Play Gran Turismo 2. Thanks very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye now.